everyone and welcome back to my channel so <laughs> long time no see but as you may have seen on morgan o'brien's instagram um <laughs> he is giving away a set of images for um a little matchstick mouse scavenger hunt and <laughs> long story i approached morgan gosh when was it back in october november time i think and said to him um would he like to work alongside me because i absolutely adore his images um and you know would he be able to create a exclusive image that i could give away to my viewers um on a Christmas live stream. Now, my Christmas live streams kind of haven't happened this year and that's due to illness, but that's for another video. <laughs> um, so basically, he took my idea and absolutely ran with it <laughs> um, and created the storybook. And these are the 15 images, I believe, from that storybook. So he then came back to me um, at the end of November, I think it was, and said to me, because it was your original idea, would you like to choose your image first? So I chose this image. Bless him, he, he gave me first refusal to pick, which was so thoughtful and kind of him. And yeah, so I picked this one of the little matchstick mouse in the tree. And I will insert an image of it. If I turn this over to give myself a blank canvas. Um, I will insert an image of it, what it looks like coloured in. And I would try to like, I would like to try and do, replicate some kind of background like he used maybe. We'll see how we get on. But yes, so I have printed the image off and before I printed it, I actually upscaled it a bit so it was a little bit bigger because I have these wooden blocks here. They're about an inch, inch and a half thick, I would say. And I got these from um, a place in my town where I live called Scrap Store. And... They were like £2 each or something like that. And I can't remember if I've painted one of these on a live stream before. But I have a Fox and the Hound one of these that I was painting with gouache. So I thought what better to do than transfer one of Morgan O'Brien's Matchstick Mouse images onto one of these plaques and paint it with you on a live stream. But before we could do that, I thought I'd better make a separate video just showing you the process of how I actually transfer this onto here. Um, I can't take the credit for this because the first time I did it, I watched someone else's YouTube video. Um, it wasn't someone from the colouring community, I don't think. Don't quote me, but it may have been Chloe Rose Art, but... Don't quote me on that. But anyway, like I said, I've upscaled it. I'm going to cut it out roughly. And then we are going to stick it to our wood. It's not going to fill the entirety of this because this is a little bit wider. But it's, it's going to fill a good majority. And then we can decide what to do with the outside edge um, after we've painted it. So I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors. I did just see, ah, there they are, a pair of scissors kicking about. So I'll try and do this in real time. Um, I'm not going to do the drying process in real time because, you know, it's literally like watching paint dry. But how is everybody? I hope you are all doing well. Um... Yeah, so like I said, I've not been um, very well at all, um, for those of you who didn't know. I had really bad 
food poisoning um, called Campylobacter food poisoning. And my council, I've never had this before. I've had food poisoning before, but I've never had this happen before. Um, my council actually sent me a letter to say where have you eaten like have you eaten out at a restaurant or um have you been anywhere in the last five days etc etc trying to get to the bottom of how i got this campylo back to food poisoning um and literally like five days leading up to to getting it and i spoke to my other half and for the life of us we can't remember going anywhere um to eat out or anything because that's like a treat for us to eat out um so i was like no i don't think we did and my doctor put it down to um lettuce <laughs> of all things because my other half had exactly the same food as me exactly the same um, chicken, exactly the same burger, uh, bun, the sauce, the chips, everything. He had exactly the same as me to the tea. The only thing he had different was the salad because obviously it was a different lettuce leaf. So yeah, my doctor said it literally could just be that your salad had some kind of bacteria on it or something um and you've got poorly from it or you have a more sensitive stomach which you know if any of you know me you'll know how many problems i have with my stomach like with ibs and everything so yeah but i was very very sick with that um i lost 11 pounds in weight in two weeks was it one week two weeks two weeks i think i lost 11 pounds of weight and yeah couldn't keep anything down um even water i was becoming dehydrated i had a fever um which we couldn't really get down i had to keep having the window open um i was you know absolutely shivering my little socks off but had to have the window open to try and break the fever and yeah so it wasn't a lot of fun at all and since then my desire and want to do anything has been zero um I'm pretty much all set for Christmas and that is majorly thanks to Amazon because if, if it was up to going to shops to do my Christmas shopping then nobody would get anything. <laughs> so yeah, my usual... You know, I usually watch one Christmas film a day leading up to Christmas. I've watched one, I want to say. The new Lindsay Lohan film that's on um, Netflix. Really enjoyed that. Tried to watch a different one the next night. And it's got good reviews, but I was so utterly bored by it. So that got switched off. And I haven't put one on since. Um, I have been trying to watch the Santa Claus series that's on Disney+. Plus. Um, I'm behind by one of those episodes, I think. Um, so yeah, my, my colouring desire, I look at my trolley full of whips and just go, no. I'm not playing. <laughs> I don't want to play. Um, but I keep creating myself more whips. So it's, you know, it's a uh, never-ending cycle of punishing myself. 
But anyway, on to happier times because this is Christmas. Um, so yeah, I've cut out my image and what I'm going to do is Mod Podge this whole piece of wood. I'm not going to, you know, draw around this and faff about only Mod Podging the area that I'm going to paint. I'm going to Mod Podge the whole thing. Um, just absolutely cover it in Mod Podge. And then hopefully, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these, the image will transfer onto here. So once I've Mod Podged this, stuck this down and Mod Podged over the top, um, we let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow I will get a, uh, like a face cloth, absolutely soaking wet face cloth and wet this whole piece of paper here and then very gently I should be able to rub off just the paper leaving the transferred image onto the wood. If that is successful I will be live streaming painting this tomorrow evening. If it is not successful I will have to reattempt to do it and I will paint it as soon as I possibly can. So this is just your generic Mod Podge, nothing special about it. And I have a flathead paintbrush here, a little smaller than I'd like, but this seems to be the biggest one I have, apart from a mop head, which I don't want to use. So yeah, I will um, Mod Podge away at this and play some Christmas music for you. I will also speed it, the process up a bit. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to try and get it as smooth as you possibly can um, so you can't see many brush strokes. But like you saw, I, I poured it on um, because you want it to be nice and wet. So be generous with it. And then try and centre your image like so. Give it a good rub down. And then we're going to paint over the top of this with Mod Podge. Okay, so you can see a few air bubbles in 
the picture but that won't be a problem hopefully um I can't, it's been so long since i've done this i can't remember what happened last time but yeah i have smoothed that out as best as i possibly can um i tried not to leave too many brush strokes so yeah we will let this dry overnight and then tomorrow I will, like I said, put a damp cloth over it and try and lift all of the paper off. I can't remember if the original person actually Mod Podged over the top or whether they didn't. I may have made like a complete mistake there, but time will tell. <laughs> and uh, I'll see what it's like tomorrow, I guess. But I did want to do just this quick video showing you the process. So if you wanted to do something like this, be it on a circular piece of wood or um, you could even shrink the image, the original image down and put it on one of those little wooden um, slices that Arteza sell. I think other companies sell them too, but off the top of my head, I know Arteza sell them. Um yeah, so if you think about it, if you collect all of the, I think there's 15 images, and if you put them onto the wood slices and painted them, you could either make some gorgeous Christmas tree decorations for next year, or you could make some lovely little coasters. Um, if you, you know, when you've painted it, if you seal it over the top with the Mod Podge, um, they would make some lovely little coasters to gift to people. Um, or you could just keep them for yourself to decorate your house with. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. But yeah, please join me for the next video, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll see if this transferred onto the wood. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Until then, take care everyone and happy colouring. Bye.